Okay, I decided to try Maggie out on this uh, Sterling engine, and she works just fine. I just hooked a little rubber band onto this. Um, um, it's one of my motors that had a permanent magnet, ring magnet in it that ran around, and I just uh, put Maggie next to it to see if she'd work. And she works fine. She likes this Sterling engine. Let me show you how it works here. Get this heated up. But, uh, yeah, that's a ring magnet, a north-south ring magnet in there. And when you turn the uh, ring magnet, it induces a current in Maggie's uh, thousands and thousands of fine wire. It gives her enough voltage to light her little eyes up. And then I have uh, on Maggie these uh, test leads to check the voltage. Uh, all Maggie is is a um, coil of wire with uh, a bridge rectifier going into a couple of LEDs. There's no batteries on it, but let's see if she works here. And there you have it. That's a Sterling engine doing work, converting a heat into electricity. She likes it. And like I say, all that is is a, it's a ring magnet in there being turned around by the Sterling engine with a loose rubber band. And then uh, my little... Uh, friend Maggie, who people have watched my work for years and years, she operates with a turning magnet in front of her. And this is this uh, really, really neat Sterling engine uh, converting heat. And this is a uh, denatured alcohol. And uh, it's converting the heat into a mechanical injury, in energy using the Sterling system, Sterling engine system. And then the uh, mechanical energy is converted into electricity with a generator. Now, normally they have a little motor right in there that runs off this, but um, the Maggie uh, setup, uh, if you're looking for voltage, uh, works really, really good. And there's not much friction on that uh, setup to get your, uh, your light. That worked really, really good. Thanks for watching.